and welcome to Draco School. Today we'll be learning Chinese Wei Qi terms about eyes. Besides language learning, we'll also solve some related Wei Qi questions together or Si Huo Ti. I'll show you real examples from the Fox Go server or Ye Hu. Some of you may already be aware that this server has a Si Huo Ti Dui Zhan or life and death question battle. It's a feature where you can compete online against real players in real time to solve Wei Qi questions. And I'll show you how knowing your goal terms can give you an unfair advantage in this battle. If you're already fluent and you want to skip straight to doing the si huo in this video, you can use the timestamps in the description below. And for the rest of you, I've specially prepared three pages of material, which you can download from the link in the description below and follow along with the lesson. Also, if you haven't, I recommend starting with the very first video on my channel about Chinese goal terms, as those are the more basic goal terms, but you'll also be fine starting here as I'll explain every word to you. Eye in Chinese is yen, and when we talk about human eyes, we also say yen, or sometimes we say yen jing. But when we're talking about eyes in Wei Qi, we usually don't say yen jing, we just say yen. So to make an eye is zuo yen. Zuo is to make. Do you remember we learned si huo ti in the previous video, which is life and death questions. Si is die, huo is alive, and ti is question. So zuo si huo ti is to do life and death questions. So zuo yen is to make an eye. So for example, over here, if I play here, this is zuo yen because I'm making eyes. The next word is poor yen. Poor is to break. So poor yen is to break an eye. So over here, if it's white's turn, bai qi poor yen. This will be breaking the eye. And sometimes moves like this, we also call it dian in Chinese. Dian is like when you play a single stone at the vital point of a group. So in this case, someone might also say bai qi dian. The next two words we're gonna learn is zhen yan and jia yan. Zhen means real and jia means fake. So sometimes people may say zhen jia is like real or fake. Zhen yan is real eye. If somebody says zhen de ma, that's like saying really? Is it true? Zhen de ma? Zhen yan, real eye. Jia yan, fake eye. So in this example, this is a zhen yan, and this is a jia yan. By the way, if you need a refresher on the four accents in Chinese, we draw the hue like that. So we have a, 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 a. So the tone of your voice kind of follows the accent, right? So yan, number three accent, yan, puo yan. So the fourth accent is more forceful. Puo yan. Zuo yan. Okay, moving on. If we want to say one eye, it will be yi zhi yan. Yi means one. And zhi, zhi is like a counter. So it's quite common that people will say a counter word when they are trying to count something. For example, one cat will be yi zhi mao instead of saying yi mao. So yi zhi yan is one eye. Liang zhi yan is Two eyes. So in Chinese, two is a. So one, two, three is yi, e, san. But when we are specifically counting like two eyes or two cats, it's common that a becomes liang. So liang zhi yan, two eyes. Two cats will be liang zhi mao. Half an eye will be ban zhi yan. Ban is half. So in this group, hei qi, hei qi means black. Or he also means black. He qi yo yi zhi yan. That means black has one eye. Yo means to have. He qi yo yi zhi yan. What about this? How many eyes does black have? He qi yo liang zhi yan. What about now? Three in Chinese is san. He qi yo san zhi yan. So now you can apply this to any number in Chinese if you just look up and learn numbers in Chinese. For example, maybe 45 is 45. So if you want to say black has 45 eyes, you can say 黑棋有 45 yen. 
And if you are wondering what half an eye is, Pan Chi Yan is usually in a situation where if black plays one move, black can form an eye. But if it's white's turn, white can break the eye. So it really depends on whose turn it is. So it's almost an eye, but it's not an eye yet. That's why we call it half an eye or Pan Chi Yan. The next word is Yan Wei. Wei kind of refers to space or place. So Yan Wei is eye space. Yan Wei Feng Fu. Feng Fu is like abundant. So you can say Yan Wei Feng Fu when there's a lot of eye space. And if you don't have eye space, Mei Yo Yan Wei. Mei Yo means don't have. What if I want to say black doesn't have an eye or black doesn't have eyes? You can say Hei Qi Mei Yo. Yan. Hei qi means black, mei you is don't have, yan is eye. So hei qi mei you yan. Black doesn't have an eye, black doesn't have eyes. Hei qi mei you yan wei. Black doesn't have eye space. Next one, yan wei zu go. Zu go means enough. So bai qi yan wei zu go. White has enough eye space. Yan wei bu go. Bu go is not enough. Bai qi yan wei bu go. White doesn't have enough eye space. Yan wei hen da. Hen means very. Da is big. So eye space very big. Bai qi yan wei hen da. White's eye space is very big. He qi yan wei tai xiao. Black's eye space is too small. Xiao is small. Tai is like two. Note that Ta and Tai look very similar. The difference is there's one more stroke over here for Tai. So now you know that Hen is very and Tai is two. What if I want to say instead of very big, I want to say very small. You can say Yan Wei Hen Xiao. What if I want to say the eye space is too big? You can say Yan Wei Tai Ta. So you can interchange these words. Now let's look at this. What would you say about this group, about the eye space? I would say, Hei qi, black. I can say, Yan wei, feng fu, abundant. Yan wei, zu go. Yan wei, hen da. Hei qi, yan wei, feng fu. Hei qi, yan wei, zu go. Hei qi, yan wei, hen da. What about the bottom group? If I ask you, Hei qi yan wei zu go ma? This ma is like the term at the end of a question. So I'm asking you, does black have enough eye space? So if you look at this, not enough, right? So you can reply, Hei qi mei you yan wei. Black doesn't have eye space. Or you can say black doesn't have enough eye space. He qi yan wei bu go. Or the eye space is too small. He qi yan wei tai xiao. So again, the top group. He qi yan wei hen da. The bottom group. He qi yan wei hen xiao. He qi yan wei bu go. And on top. He qi yan wei zu go. And now we'll look at the last three words and I'll give you some real examples very soon. So, suo xiao yan wei. Just now we learned that xiao is small, right? Suo xiao is to make it small or reduce. So, suo xiao yan wei is to make the eye space smaller or reduce the eye space. The next one, you recognize this word, right? Da, from here. Hen da is big, very big, right? So, da is big. Kuo da is to make it big. Or to enlarge. So, kuo da yan wei is to enlarge the eye space. Later, I'll show you more examples for this. And let's look at this first. Yo yan. Yo. Just now we learned yo is to have, right? If I say he qi yo yan or he qi yo yi zhi yan, that means black has one eye. So, yo yan is to have an eye or have eyes. Sha, we learned in the first video, sha is to kill. Yo yan sha. Wu yan. Wu is like a negation negative means 
to don't have or no. So wu yan means like no eye. So it's like having an eye kills no eye. Yo yan sha wu yan. Sometimes it's also less commonly said as yo yan sha xia. So instead of wu yan no eye, they say xia. Xia means blind. And now I'll show you some real examples of yo yan sha wu yan. Here's an example of yo yan sha wu yan. This is black plays first. He xian. Where would you play as black? I'll give you five seconds. Okay, and now let's look at the answer. Black has to play here. So black is forming an I or yen. And now white doesn't have an I. So white is wu yen. Black is the yo yen. Black has eyes. And white is the wu yen. So yo yen sha wu yen. In this case, the group with an I kills the group without an I. After black plays here, white can't play in any of this. Bu ru qi. Can't play here, can't play here. And if black chooses a different move instead of forming an I, for example, here, now, bai qi, sha hei qi, white kills black, right? Because now, now it's black's turn. If black plays here, then white eats all these stones first. And if instead of playing the I, black begins from outside, now it's white's turn, white can form a seki, double life, or shuang huo. Now, Black cannot play in any of these spaces because if black plays, white will eat black first. And on the next move, white also cannot play because black will eat white. So that's why it's a shuang huo or seki. The best move is for black to form an eye because when you have an eye, white is unable to atari this anymore because black will eat white first. Now let's look at a real situation on the Fox Wei Qi server, Si Huo Ti Dui Zhan, the life and death question battle that I mentioned earlier. So before I continue, I'll give you 5 seconds to look at this problem. If you wish to think about it, you can pause the video. Okay, and now I will point out that if you look at these words over here, it's actually a clue as to what kind of move the answer is. So here it says suo xiao yan wei and that's the word that we just learned over here. Suo xiao yan wei. Suo xiao is to reduce. Reduce eye space. So the clue is that the move reduces the eye space. And once you know that, you know that this battle is very fast paced. So this actually helps a lot because it can narrow down your options. Once you know that it's about reducing eye space, you don't have to consider this move or this move or this move, this move. Or this move. Cause suo xiao usually it begins from the outside and then you make the eye space smaller from the outside. So I can be quite sure already that the move will be here to start from outside. And now let's see if white eats this stone. I can just come here and break an eye. White cannot form any more eyes. In this situation, white only has one real eye. Bai qi you yi zhi. Zhen yan. And this is a jia yan, right? This is a fake eye. And now if white blocks, the next move, black will run this stone. White atari or da chi. Hei qi li. And now do you recognize this situation from one of my previous videos? This is actually a Jing Ji Du Li situation. The golden chicken stands on one leg. Remember that video? So in this case, it's like the golden chicken standing here and white is unable to play here because Bai Qi Bu Ru Qi and black will eat all these stones. If white plays here, black will eat all these stones. Let's look at if black runs first. I think white can just Atari. If black runs again, This time is a bit different from the previous Jing Ji Du Li situation. Because now, when Hui eats this, there's Miyai or there's two options available. If black breaks this one, white forms an eye here and vice versa. 
also if black runs I think white can also consider this if black runs again white can play this and likewise if black breaks this eye and white eats 3 stones now again there's Miyai or two options if Hei Qi Po Yan Bai Qi Zuo Yan Hei Qi Po Yan Bai Qi Zuo Yan Bai Qi You Liang Zhi Yan Bai Qi You Liang Zhi Zhen Yan Here's another example from the Fox Si Huo Ti Dui Zhan I'll give you some time to think about it It's black to play Hei Xian Huo Hei means black Xian is like Hei Xian is black goes first Huo is to live Okay, and now let's discuss the answer. If you see here, these four words are the words that we also just learned. Kuo da yan wei. Over here. Kuo da yan wei. Enlarge the eye space. So if you already know this term, you also have an advantage. Because you know that the answer to this question will be to make your eye space bigger. And so you can already rule out maybe like this, or this, or this. The answer will most likely be either here or here because it will be to enlarge your eye space. So now let's look at the answer. Kuo da yan wei. So black place here. Let's say if white Atari. Atari back. Okay, if, if you play anywhere else, right, like if you play this, white is going to eat the three stones. So Atari, da chi. White eat the stone. Da chi again. White connect. And now, Hei qi zuo yan. Hei qi zuo liang zhi yan. Black makes two eyes. Zuo is to make, zuo yan is to make eyes. Zuo liang zhi yan is to make two eyes. So now, Hei qi huo le. Black is alive. Now let's look at some other variations of bian hua. So what if white plays this? Black can lian or connect. If white plays this, he qi zuo yan. Make an eye, zuo yan. White plays here. He qi da chi, black atari. So now, he qi yo liang zhi yan. One eye, yi zhi yan. Hai yo yi zhi yan. So that's two eyes. So he qi huo le. If white plays here, Hei qi ke yi zuo yan Make an eye If white cuts Hei qi da chi Now white can't play this If white connects Then black will eat white also So if you can read the term Kuo da yan wei You will likely know that the answer is here To expand your eye space if you have any more questions on any variations, you can use the coordinates to ask in the comments. So this question is Yan Sha Hei Xian Hei Xian means black goes first. I'll give you some time to think about the answer. Okay, so now let's look at the word Yan Sha Yan means I and Sha is to kill. So Yan Sha is actually a short form of this term that we learned just now, the last one. Yo Yan Sha Wu Yan. The group with an eye kills the group with no eyes. So it's shortened to Yan Sha I kill. So from that we already have a clue that as black we probably have to make an eye. So we know that it's likely we don't start from outside. We start from here to make an eye. It's either here or here. Let's look at this first. This is not the best answer, although you're making an eye, because white can make a coal like this. And now it becomes a coal. So we have to make a more stable eye like this, where white cannot make use of this to form a core. So let's see 
if white plays here, black will play here. And now he qi, black, huo yan, break the eye, right? Because otherwise, bai qi zuo yan, white will make an eye. So he qi po yan. And now if white plays this, you can't play here first, right? Because white will eat you. Now white will eat these four stones. So you start from outside. White also can't play here. Bai qi, bu ru qi. Now black will eat all these stones. If white starts from outside, eat this stone. And now white can't play here. This is a jia yin, fake eye. But black has a zhen yin, real eye. So this is a case of you yin, sha wu yin. The group with an eye heals the group with no eyes. Here we have another example from Ye Hu, the fox server, si huo ti dui zhan, the life and death battle. Yan Sha He Xian. So black goes first. I'll give you some time to think of the answer. Okay, now let's discuss. So we know that this is Yan Sha, so it's a Yo Yan Sha Wu Yan situation. So the group with eyes kills the group with no eyes. So black goes first. We can see that in one more move, white will atari black. So definitely, black has to do something here. So we form an eye. So this is a zhen yan. He qi you yi zhi zhen yan. So white can't play here now. If white starts from outside, black blocks. And now, bai qi bu ru qi. So this is the answer. Let's look at a variation. What if after playing this, white extends? First, you can play this to turn this into a jia yin. So this is a jia yin. Now white still cannot play here, right? Because black will eat the two stones. So if white plays something like this, he qi po yin. Black breaks the eye. So, white still can't play here. If white starts from here, just cover from outside. And now, bai qi bu ru qi. White can't play here, because there's not enough air. One thing to note for this question is, you have to be careful not to play here first. Otherwise, it can become an instant cold. When white plays here, black is in Atari, so this side becomes a cold. Whereas in the Yan Sha, Yu Yan Sha Wu Yan version, black can kill white without a call. So the correct move is to Zuo Yan, He Qi Zuo Yan. Now let's look at this example. It says, Puo Yan, He Xian Bai Si. Just now we learned, Puo Yan is to break an eye. So in this question, black has to break white's eye. He Xian means black first, Bai Si, white dies. Bai is white, si is dai. I'll give you some time to think of the answer. Okay, let's look at the answer. First, we know that Bai Qi Yo Yi Zhi Zhen Yan. White has one real eye. Zhen Yan is real eye over here. So the next eye should be here. So He Qi has to Puo Yan over here, right? So this is the first move. White Atari. Black Atari. White eats. And now He Qi Puo Yan. Because I don't want to let white have two eyes like this, right? So He Qi Puo Yan. If white lian connect, then I will play this. And this is a jia yan, right? Because later, black can atari this whole group. For example, when all these liberties are filled, then white is in atari, and white has to connect, and white is dead. Because there is only yi zhi zhen yan, one real eye. So for this question, if black plays anywhere else, for example here, 
or here. White just needs to play here and Bai Qi will have a Zhen Yan over here, right? So now even if you connect this, White can connect back and the other way as well. If you connect this, White will connect back. If you play this first, White will eat this stone. And now if you play anywhere here, White will form a Zhen Yan. If you play this, And now, white is alive. And back to the correct move. If say, white plays somewhere around here, you can always run. Once you connect, if white plays this, is this Zhen Yan or Jia Yan? This is a Jia Yan. Because later when these liberties are filled, black can Atari this group. What if white plays this? White cuts, we can play here. Now Bai Qi Bu Ru Qi cannot play this, right? Because I'll eat the stones. And now I play here. This is a Jia Yan, fake eye. Now let's look at this example. It says San Yan Liang Zuo Hei Xian. Hei Xian is black first. San is three. San Yan, three eyes. Liang is two and zuo is to make. So we've learned these words just now. So now you combine san yin liang zuo means there are three eyes and you make two of them. So I'll give you some time to think about this question. Okay, so Hei Xian, black to play. So let's look at the answer. First, I play here. If white plays here and eats these three stones, I can make another eye here, right? Liang Zhi Yan, two eyes. If white plays here, then I will eat this stone. So there were three eyes, and out of the three, I can always make two. So the answer is here. If black plays here instead, White can play here first. So over here, White is going to eat all these stones. If you play here, you will only have one eye and White will eat you here. And if you play here and eat these two stones, that's one eye, but White will break this eye. Puo yan. Bai qi puo yan. So hei qi you yi zhi yan. One eye. Black has one eye. And if Black plays here first, White can play here. And now, black is unable to play either way because there will only be one eye. If you play this, white will eat all these stones again. So the answer is to play here. Zuo yin. Ruguo bai qi puo yin. Break the eye. Then hei qi zuo yin. So here, there's another eye. Hei qi you liang zhi yin. Black has two eyes. I hope you enjoy solving the questions and now we'll go on to apply what we've learned to speak in full sentences. Now that we've learned quite a lot of terms, let's try applying them to form full sentences. Let's look at the first sentence. Hei qi zhi you yi zhi yan. So black only, zhi means only, you is has, yi zhi yan is one eye. And now you may notice that this is the same word, right? But in some cases, the same word can have different meanings. So just now we learned that this zhi is the counter word. But this first, this first one is zhi. So this is the third accent. You can see here, zhi. So hei qi zhi you means black only has. Then yi zhi yan is one eye. Second sentence, bai qi zhi you liang zhi jia yan. So just now we learned that liang zhi 
yan is two eyes. So now if we say 两只假眼, it means two fake eyes. Third sentence, 黑棋有三只真眼, 肯定活了. So I think we've learned all these words here. Black has three real eyes. This is a new word, 肯定. 肯定 means definitely. So 肯定活了 means definitely alive. In the first video, we learned that 活 is alive. And now I'll just introduce this particle 了. So as you can see here, it's a very commonly used particle to indicate that it's like it's already done. So if I say 赢了 means already won. 赢 is to win. So like win a game. 赢. So if you just say the word 赢, nobody knows whether you're saying I'm going to win or I've won already or I want to win. So if I say 赢了, you know it means won. So this sentence, 黑棋有三只真眼,肯定活了. Fourth sentence, 黑棋眼味足够吗? 足够吗? So this ma is a question particle. It's added at the end of questions. Added at the end of yes, no questions. Later, I'll show you another particle where it's not for yes, no questions. But ma is for yes, no questions. For example, this question, does black have sufficient eye space? The answer is either yes or no, right? That's why we use the particle ma. So hey qi is black. Yan Wei is eye space, and just now we learn, just now we learn Yan Wei Zhu Go enough eye space. So when we add the ma, this becomes a question. Hei Qi Yan Wei Zhu Go ma? Can you answer this question? Let's go back to the terms. So if you have enough, you can say Hei Qi Yan Wei Feng Fu, or you can say Hei Qi Yan Wei Zhu Go. Hei Qi Yan Wei Zhu Go, 肯定活了。Definitely alive. Hei qi yan wei hen da. The eye space is very big. And if black doesn't have enough eye space, you can say like, Hei qi mei you yan wei. Hei qi yan wei bu go. Hei qi yan wei tai xiao. Or hei qi yan wei hen xiao. So hen is very. So if you change the da to xiao, it becomes very small. Yan wei hen xiao. Or yan wei tai xiao means too small. And so tai da will mean too big. Okay, fifth sentence. Bai qi ke yi xian zuo yan. Bai qi bu hui shi. Let's break this down. Bai qi means white. Ke yi means can. And if I say bu ke yi, means cannot. So bai qi ke yi, white can. Do you remember in the first video, we learned Bai Xian, that means white goes first, right? So Xian has a meaning of first or like before. So when I say Bai Qi Ke Yi Xian Zuo Yan, I'm saying like white can make eyes first. Zuo Yan is to make eyes. Bai Qi Bu Hui Si, Bai Qi is white. Hui is will or like can. Bu Hui is like will not or cannot. So, bai qi bu hui is white cannot or white will not, and si is to die, so white will not die. Bai qi ke yi xian zuo yan, bai qi bu hui si. Something else that I want to point out here, the word bu is like negation, right? Like no or not. But if you notice, sometimes the accent is, is a different one. So this one, bu hui, it becomes a second accent, right? But if I say 不可以, it's the fourth accent. So by itself, 不 is fourth accent, 不. But sometimes it depends what is the word that comes after. For example, instead of 不会, it becomes 不会. That's because it's easier to say and it sounds more natural. You can try saying like 他不会 and 他不会. So 不会 is, it flows easier. So I think that's why there's this general rule in Chinese. And one more thing is, look at the word 可以. So we know that the third, third accent is like 以, right? But you don't see me saying 可以. So if the first one is the third accent and the second one is also the third accent, 
Usually the first one, even though it's the third accent, it will sound more like the second accent. That's why we say 可以 and not 可以. So now I've added two more sentences for you here to build upon the words that I just taught you. 不会 is won't or cannot. So if I say 我, 我 is referring to myself or me. 我不会 is like I don't know. 我不会 下围棋, 下 is the action verb for playing go. So 下围棋 is to play go. 我不会下围棋 means I don't know how to play go. So 我 is me and you is 你 over here, 你. 你会下围棋吗? Do you know how to play go? So we have 可以, 不可以, 不会, 我不会下围棋, 你会下围棋吗? Six sentence, 黑棋怎样破眼呢? So 黑棋 is black, just now we learned 破眼, is to break the eye. And now we have a new word here, 怎样, 怎样 means how. And ne is the particle at the end of a question, but in this case, it's for an open-ended question. It's not for the yes-no question when we put ma at the back of the question. So when I ask, how does black break eyes? It's not a yes-no question, right? I have to explain. That's why we use the particle ne. So black, hey qi, zenyang is how. Puo yan is to break eye. And ne is the question particle. How does black break eyes? The next sentence is quite similar with a few extra words. So now you can see how you can build upon your sentences with the terms that you've learned. 黑棋怎样破眼,沙白棋呢? So there are three extra words added. 沙 is to kill, 白棋 is white. So how can black break eyes and kill white? Sentence number 8. Now we're going to learn a new word. This word is very useful. Whether it's about go or not about go, this is a very commonly used word. 觉得, 觉得 is to feel. So that's when you express your opinions. And, and if you are not too certain, you can use 觉得 so that other people know that it's just your thoughts and you're not too sure. So if I say 我觉得 means I feel or like in my opinion. 我觉得白棋坏眼位, eye space, 不够 not enough. So I think or I feel that white's eye space is not enough. And now let's see how else we can use 觉得 to express your thoughts or your feelings. 我觉得 is I feel 围棋 go 很有趣 很 means very. Do you remember just now we learned 很大 很小 this 很 so, 大 is big. When I say 很大, it's very big. So now, this is the same 很. 我觉得围棋很有趣. 有趣 means interesting. So 很有趣 is very interesting. 我觉得围棋很有趣. I feel that go is very interesting. And this sentence, Will be maybe when you are discussing a game, so like someone asks, What do you think? Like, is this good for white? So, like, Bai Qi Hao Ma, somebody asks you, Is white good? Bai Qi Hao Ma. So, you can say, 我觉得, I feel, Bai Qi white, 不好, not good. Last sentence, this is a long one, but I'm sure you'll be able to understand it. 黑棋看起来眼位很大,可是白棋可以杀黑棋. First, let's look at the new words here. 看起来 is like it looks like or it seems. 看 is to look. 可是, 可是 means but. So, 黑棋, black, 看起来 looks like 眼位很大, the eye space very big. So, it looks like black's eye space is very big. 可是, but. 白棋, white, 可以, can, 杀, to kill, 黑棋 is black. So, but, white can kill black. 黑棋看起来眼位很大, 可是, 
白棋可以杀黑棋。It looks like black's eye space is very big, but white can kill black. So this is how you can build upon the terms that you've learned and create longer sentences when discussing about goal situations. Now you're another step closer to understanding Chinese Wei Qi resources and videos. And maybe one day, I'll even see you guys at Wei Qi events discussing and reviewing games with other players in Chinese. Let me know if you like more videos like this and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video!